I had a friend in college. Haven't talked to him in years and years and years, but we were good friends. Did a lot of stuff in college together. He loved the Lord with all his heart. He wanted to be a pastor. He felt like God had called him to be a pastor. And he was studying Greek at the University of Texas so he could be prepared to be a pastor. And my friend Mike was like so many other guys. He struggled with his thought life. He struggled with keeping his thought life pure. And oftentimes, he would succumb to lust. And it would make him feel so terrible inside. He'd think like, what, what am I doing? I'm succumbing to this sin of lust and the actions associated with lust. And, and here I am, a, a Christian. Here I am going to be a pastor. And I'm struggling with this. And I'm failing in this. And he would feel so terrible about himself. He'd just walk around, big, heavy coat of guilt and condemnation. The devil had just swooped in on him. And there was a verse he read in Judges chapter 2, verse 15 my friend Mike said, this is the way I feel. Judges 2.15 talks about a people who had uh, forsaken God, gone and worshipped the false idols of the land. And it says this, wherever they went, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil because they were in sin, because they had rebelled against God. And they were not repenting. They were not dealing with it. Well, Mike took that verse in his state of guilt and shame and condemnation that he was receiving from the devil. And he took that verse and he said, that is how I feel. I just feel like wherever I go, the hand of the Lord is against me for evil because of my sin, because I'm so terrible and horrible and worthless. Does God do that? All right, what kind of a friend would do that to you? Is that a friend everybody wants? Boy, I'd love to have a friend that everywhere I go, the hand of him is against me. That every time I come into his presence, he just pours out the condemnation on me. That's not a good friend. That is not the Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't do that. He is not like that. And I have a sneaking suspicion that Mike my friend Mike from college is not the only one that feels like that. Like, because of the things that you've done in the past, that the hand of the Lord is against you for evil everywhere you go. And even though you've confessed your sins over and over and over and over and over again, the same sin that God is still against you, he's against you, he's against you. That's a lie. Psalm 56, verse 9. This I know that God is for me. 